Hello, Adriana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How, good evening. How are you today? I'm feeling great. How was your weekend? Well, my weekend was very, very tired because my son felt sick. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What does your son have? Uh, sorry? Uh, what does he have? ¿Qué es lo que tiene? Uh, get flu. Oh, okay. So you can say he has a flu. Ah, okay. He has a flu. And is he drinking any medication? Yes, um we we went to the doctor. Okay. On the weekend, on Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Okay. Does he feel better? Uh, more or less. Okay. What did they give him? What did they give him? What What did they give him? ¿Qué le dieron? What? Oh, uh, um, Amroxol, terapia de respiratorias, um, um, only. Okay. So it looks like you had a very interesting weekend. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. Hello, Iris. How are you? Hello, Iris. How are you? Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Good. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? So so. What did you do this weekend? Excuse me, repeat it, please. Yeah. What did you do this weekend? Um, homework. Uh, what kind of homework? English homework? Um, no, it's the, it's the, la, the university. Oh, homework. okay. Okay, okay. Uh, what is your career? What's your career? Oh, um, la carrera? Yes. Um, que de la vez pasada me dijo, um, ingeniería en sistemas, no recuerdo cómo era, ingeniería system, creo. Systems engineer. Systems okay. engineer. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, hello, Catherine, how are you? Catherine, how are you? Catherine, can you hear me? No, okay. Glendy, can you hear me? Yes. All right. How are you? I'm fine. How was your weekend? It was good. What did you do this weekend? Um, in this weekend, mm -hmm. I spent time with my family, especially with my nephew, uh, because I I take care of my nephew. And Sunday, I went to the church. Okay. 
Okay, so cool, so cool. Thank you. Looks like you had a very interesting weekend. All right. Hey, Maida, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. you good evening, good evening. I am excellent. It's Monday. Uh, what did you do this weekend? Well, I uh, Saturday I wash my gloves and cleaning my house. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, Sunday, I stay at home with my parents. And in the afternoon, I um, went to the church. Oh, nice, nice. It's very good that you spend time with your parents. Excellent. Yes. Good daughter, good daughter. Very good. Thank you. All right, thank you, Myra. Uh, Jonathan, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. How was your weekend? Um, fine. I I was watching uh, football soccer. Mm -hmm. Real Madrid versus Barcelona, and I stayed at my home. Two days. Okay. Good. Relaxing at home. That's good. All right. Just relaxing here. That's good. Okay, guys. Who can tell me what information do you remember from the activities in last week's class? What activities do you remember? What activities do you remember? Somebody? Nobody? Okay. So in the previous class, we were looking at this over here, uh, talking about making plans. We're going to do a little review, and then we're going to continue. Love to, but do I Do you can. remember this activity? I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Do you oh, remember this activity? Well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Do you remember this activity? Tomorrow sounds fine. Yes, I am. Yes, they should work until five. Yes, I am. So let's oh, yes, go around I do. six. Okay. Afterward, yes, I yes, do. I get some dinner. That is correct. Sounds yes, great. I do. All right, we're gonna listen to it one more time. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. All right. Let me have two volunteers. Love to, me too. but I can't. Okay, Cesar, you're going to be Lynn. Cesar, you're going to be Lynn. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Mayra, you're going to be Miguel. Action. Thank you. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time? Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some some dinner. Sounds great. Perfect. Perfect. Very good, Myra. Very good, Cesar. Uh, go ahead, Cesar. Select somebody. Myra, select somebody. David Alonso, 
teacher. All right, David Alonso is Lynn. Um, Adriana Gretel. Adriana Gretel is Miguel. Action. Hey, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I going to the soccer wash with my brother. Oh well, maybe on other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call go go when? Then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sound great. Perfect, perfect. All right, excellent. Adriana and David, go ahead, select somebody, Adriana and David. I select Glendy Flores. Glendy Flores. Glendy Flores. Yes. You are Lynn. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you Wait. doing tonight? Eh, Pero me estamos esperando que Adriana elija a alguien. I select Iris. 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 Okay. Yo creo que Iris no puede hablar. ¿Alguien más? Ariana Gretel, otra persona. Carla. Carla. Buenas noches, me acabo de conectar, no sé cuál es la actividad. Oh, ok. Carla, estamos trabajando de aquí. Eh, ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Sí, sí, sí. I'm going okay. to a soccer match. Estamos practicando este diálogo. ¿Con quién me tocaría? ¿O yo sola pronunciaría todo? Eh, no. Eh, ¿Cuál era el compañero que iba a participar? Glendy. Me. Ok, Glendy, usted es Len y Carla es Miguel. Ok, yo empiezo. Eh, Len es Glendy. Bueno. Carla es Miguel. Empieza Len. Estamos esperando a Glendy. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call good them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Good pronunciation. No observations. Okay, guys. So these activities were from the previous class. In this section over here, you are going to write a similar conversation like this one asking somebody about something in the future. Uh, it can be a question about the next day off. Hey, what are you doing on your next day off? It can be about the next vacation, the next meeting, the next English class, the next workshop, whatever. You decide on the topic. But the grammar is going to be about the future. You are going to be talking about the future. What are your plans for the future? Go to the movies, uh, go to a lake, go to the beach, 
uh, take a course, study another language, uh, study an instrument, whatever you decide. And you are going to do this in pairs. I'm going to let you share the screen with your classmates. You will have five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Work together, guys. Work together, guys. Work together, guys. Work together. Um, yes, that was teacher. Um. Ok, tal vez la primera sentence sería say eh, Juan, what are you doing next weekend? For example. Estoy bien. Tengo una idea y como pronto llegar y decir hey, uh, what's going on? Uh -huh. uh, do you are you going to do something on weekends? Y para, y así va, ya después en las siguientes párrafos, párrafos oraciones, de desenvolver más la, la, la conversión, uh -huh. decirle no, o hey, uh, todo bien, no, no tengo nada por el estilo, por decirlo así. 
Uh -huh. Sí, está sí, bien, puede ser, sí. Ok. Entonces, compañero, no entendí. Vamos a cambiar la primera pregunta. Me decía, what are you doing next weekend? Uh -huh. eh, Permítame. Eh, ya termino la primera. La, la oración, lo que yo creo, diría yo. Creo que podría estar bien. O usted envíen sus, sus ejemplos y ya jugamos el mejor. O sea, la hacemos así, la escribimos y luego la enviamos. A ver cuánto. Yo, yo saqué esto, ¿no? ahí en el chat lo escribí, no sé si les parece, ahí la, iniciando así la primera. Ajá, eh, continuamos, sea... Ajá, continuamos okay. después con la segunda. No sé si les parece bien, así como está escrito o le cambiamos algo. No, está bien. Bueno, al menos por mí. No sé qué dicen los demás compañeros. I think it's a good idea. Ok. Ah, pues vamos a continuar ahí. No sé una idea de qué puedo. Ok. Tengo... A ver. Um... No sé si estaría bien así la, la segunda que respondiera a la segunda persona o, o le agregáramos algo o le quitamos. Le responde que, que no hace nada por el momento, algo así. Sí, es como nada, nada bueno por el momento. O sea, cuando, no sé, sería como, sería así en español. Hey, ¿qué tal? Hey, ¿qué no? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Tienes algo que hacer en el fin de semana? Y le responde, hey, ¿qué onda, bro? Uh, no por el momento. Nada bueno por el momento sería. Ah, Ok. Y luego ahí lo invitar como que vayan a hacer algo el fin de semana. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Así es. Eso tenía planeado. Ok. Is everybody finished or do you need more time?
is everybody finished or do you need more time? Are you guys finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. No, more or less. All right. Uh, Myra, who was your partner? Uh, Luisa, Carla, and Adriana Gretel. Okay. Let me hear your conversation. Myra and Luisa, go ahead. Um, espérenme, espérenme. Ya le envío al, al WhatsApp, compañeras. That's okay. Es que aquí no sé cómo subirla. Pero creo que nos acordamos de him. Um, say Carla, what are you doing this Saturday? Do you want to go to the beach with my family? Ya le envié. Este, no sé si ya la, la ya la pueden ver, compañeras, para que la leamos. Mm, thank you. Hi, Carla. What are you doing on Saturday? Do you want to go to beach with my family? I'm not sure. I have to work on Saturdays and I don't go to the beach. And you, Lisa, what are you doing this week? I will work all this week until Saturday. And you, Adriana, what are you doing this week? Well, in my case, I don't have any plans, but on Saturday, I will go to the beach with my mom. Finish. Okay. Good. Good conversation. A little short, but that's okay. Anybody else that finished the conversation that wants to participate? Somebody else? Anybody else? Nobody? Okay. All right, so for the next activity, what we're gonna do is go ahead and move forward. Uh, we're gonna look at expressing, oh, give me a second, I lost it. Give me just a second, I lost it, I had it here. Okay, we're looking at making plans. We're gonna be looking at, by the end of this session, you will have learned how to use future with the present continuous and be going to. Al final de esta clase, habrán aprendido cómo usar el uso del futuro con el presente continuo y el estar yendo. All right, so we're gonna look at this one. Uh, let me just give you some examples. Uh, for example, if you say, or if you ask uh, somebody, you say, ¿Qué harás el viernes? Uh, you say, what are you going to do Friday night, right? So, este, uh, esta estructura es usada cuando La actividad está planificada. It is planned. Uh, what are you going to do Friday night? Uh, or, or you can also say, um, are you watching a movie? Friday night, all right. So, esta es la excepción. También se usa cuando está planificada la actividad. ¿Por qué digo que esta es la excepción? Porque normalmente, para expresar el futuro planificado, utilizamos 
esta estructura. What be verb are subject you going to and then the verb in the base form. That's the normal use for the future. In this example here, we are using the present continuous. El presente continuo como futuro. Are you watching a movie Friday night? Para expresar algo que está planificado. Por ejemplo, ir al cine es algo que planificas. Tienes que ver en qué horario está la película. Calcular el tiempo de llegada. Calcular el tiempo de la cola, si vas a comprar popcorn, right? Todo eso para estar sentado a la hora correcta. So, tú puedes responder, I am going to go to the movies, right? I am going to go to the movies. Vemos la misma estructura que la primera. I am I is the subject, am is the be verb, going to, and then go in the base form. Or you can say, I am watching a movie. I am watching a movie Friday night. So you are using the present continuous in the second exam. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? No question. Not no. Sure. Okay, okay. Thank you. Now, so that's the exception. Let's listen to the video. Ready to talk Can about everybody future hear? plans? Good for you. I want you Can to take notes here? as you listen to the audio yes. program and okay. don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word, plus be, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement and question mark. 
Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. All right, now for this section, what we are going to do is you're going to come over here to the discussion box and you are going to add some examples of what are your plans for next weekend. You're going to say, you're going to click Añade Publicación, Titulo, you're going to say next weekend, my next weekend. My next weekend. And then you're going to write the question. What are you going to do next weekend? And then you are going to give me five examples. Or the next question is, what are you doing next weekend? Las dos preguntas hacen la misma pregunta. Una utilizando el futuro, going to, y la otra utilizando el presente continuo para futuro. Las dos están preguntando lo mismito. And then you respond. Eh, I am going to watch a movie. Si quieres usar el going to para futuro. O puedes usar el presente continuo. I am watching a movie next weekend. All right. So I want you to give me at least five examples at least five examples in the discussion box. Teacher, I will be listening because I am listening. So sorry, Melissa. Okay. Uh, before we do that, I would like for us to go over the attendance. So when I call your name, I would like for you to please stay present. When I call your name, please say present. Uh, Adriana Gretel. Present. Okay. This is space. All right, present. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Excellent. Carlo William. I present teacher. Good. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Awesome. Christian Oswaldo. Christian Oswaldo. Absent. Claudia Yoselin. Present. All right. David Alonso. Present. Good. Freddy Jose. Freddy Jose. Absent. Glendy Elisette. Present. Glendy, thank you. Iris Janet. Present, cheers. Thank you. Irving Iroki. 
Irving Iroki. Present teacher. All right. Jonathan Vladimir. Jonathan Vladimir. I'm here. Josue Miguel. Present. Present. Okay. Carla Tatiana. Presente. All right. Catherine Jasmine. Catherine Jasmine. Absent. Lisbeth Martinez. Lisbeth. I'm here, teacher. Present. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Luisa Ariana. Teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Thank you. Luz. Yes. I am here. Uh, Catherine Jasmine. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. The puse absent. Catherine Jasmine is present. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Absent. Okay. Mayra Patricia. Present. Thank you. Melissa Guadalupe. Melissa Guadalupe. Absent. Okay. Nerlin Haciel. Nerlin Haciel. Ah, veo que Melissa Guadalupe. Ah, sí, me acaba de escribir. So. Melissa Guadalupe, gracias. Melissa Guadalupe. Es, es Luz Virginia. No escribió en el chat. Luz Virginia. Teacher, I'm sick. Me duele bastante la garganta, pero lo tengo. Ricardo. Okay. Nerlin Haciel. Nerlin Haciel. Absent. Ricardo Fabricio, present. Yancy Yamilet. Yancy Yamilet. All right, any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? It's clear for me, teacher. All right, let's work in pairs and help each other out. Let's work in pairs and help each other out. One student can share the screen. Eso es lo que logré cinco ejemplos, cinco. ¿Verdad? Sí, creo que sí. Ah, pues eso sí, ya los terminé. Ya, ya, ya puedo entrar a una, una computadora. Ah. Ahí la, le voy a compartir la pantalla. Ah, ok. Me, me dicen si les parece o no. Good evening. Uh, what are you doing? No. Esto es lo que he hecho. No sé si les puede. Solo era hacer las oraciones, nada más, pero uh -huh. tenemos que hacer algo más. Eh, cinco ejemplos de las oraciones. ¿Cinco de cada, de cada uno o, o cinco por todo? Sí. En total cinco. Por ejemplo, I go to play, play soccer on Saturday or I... Uh, 
Ok, entonces creo que esta, así estaría bien, ¿verdad? Aquí ya se ve. Entonces, no sé si quieren copiar esto sí, o bien. no sé, ustedes. O ustedes la harán ahí. Está separado. Ok. Voy a copiar este. Ok. Y este le ve un ejemplo que sería We are going to visit Saburidao Park. We are going to visit Saburidao Park. Saburidao Park. Sí, está correcto. Porque ocupas el, el presente, no, el, fut, el futuro simple, creo que eres. Sí, está bien. Es lo que estábamos viendo con el teacher. Uh -huh. We're going to. Y esta otra oración, por ejemplo, para no usar el going to, sino el, el presente continuo. They are watching soccer on Sunday. Que va a haber un partido. Sí, está bien igual. Porque especifica que el día. Está bien. They are Y en este caso que ocupo la tercera persona, he's going to visit his parent.
Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Estará bien. Okay, sería his party on Saturday night, for example. Exacto, exacto. Creo que ya terminamos todos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Entonces, lo voy a enviar. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer. Anybody? Anybody that wants to volunteer and share your examples. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. All right.
I'm going to play soccer on Saturday. She's going to swimming in the beach on Sunday. Hey, remember, Cesar, that when we say she's going to, the verb is in the base form. She's going to swim at the beach. Swim, base form. She's going to swim in the beach on Sunday. We are going to visit Saburirao Park. They are watching soccer on Saturday. He is going to visit his parents on Saturday night. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, Cesar. Go ahead, Cesar. Select the next participant. Miguel Portillo. All right, Miguel Portillo, you have been chosen. Miguel Portillo, okay. you have been chosen. <laughs> okay, it's what are you doing? What are you going next weekend? I'm going to El Pital with my family. Why are you going to play soccer with us? I'm going to play soccer the next weekend. I need it. Are you visiting Guatepec Lake on Sunday with, with us? It's that's it, teacher. Okay, that's good. Three examples. That's good. Select somebody, Miguel Portillo. Select somebody, Miguel Portillo. Okay. Mm. Jonathan Vladimir. Jonathan Vladimir. I'm going to wake up early tomorrow. I am going to work this week. Um, I am going to go to my grandparents uh, next weekend. Uh, just, just this. Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. Good work. Select somebody, Jonathan. Um, Mayra Patricia. Mayra Patricia. Um, I'm having a party in my house on Sunday. Uh, would you like to go? Yes, I, I am. Come. Uh, if you say, would you like to come? The response is, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Oh, sorry, I, yes, I will. Is that all, Myra? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Myra. Select somebody, please. Um, Claudia Jocelyn. Claudia Jocelyn. Good evening. Um, what are you going next weekend? Uh, where are you going to spend, spend your vacation? Are you visit Suchitoto visit like on Sunday with us? Um, where are you going to play baseball? And I am going to the beach with my friend in the vacation. Okay. Excellent, Thank Claudia. You. Excellent. Uh, does anybody have any questions in regards to using be going to and the present continuous for future? Any questions about this topic? Okay. 
Well, guys, that's Thanks. all for today. That's the main idea. I hope that all of you have understood. If you haven't, please ask me. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Enjoy your evening. Good night, teacher. See you some rest. Good night, Bye. Good night.